Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of River Valley SMP. You joined me over at the start of our underwater base, which we started last episode. Um, and the episode kind of ended abruptly because I had a lot of stuff to do and I wasn't going to be able to record anything else for that episode. And I figured it was a nice point to end the episode anyway. Um, so... Last time we were building a house, just like a little prismarine house, to signify that this is the start of our base, and it was pretty bad, I'm not going to lie, that uh, house looked awful, and so I've come on and I've really did some wonders on it, and I'm going to show you right now. So this is the new and improved house this is a little bit weird and the inside is still like got a bit of work to do but it's okay um i've got to just get a few more dark prismarine stairs and stuff to pop at the back of that and there's a little bit more to do but it looks really good compared to last episode and i'm in the normal minecraft texture pack this time just so then it looks even better. I don't know what it looks like with our texture pack yet, but that's okay. So what we're going to do this episode is we are going to take on a hefty task. We are going to connect our underground area under our enchanted tree. We are going to connect it over to there. So we're going to have a large glass tunnel which will go underneath our village here and it'll go all the way out to over there and then we might build like a little station or something of the sort but that's to be decided so I'm what I'm really going to be doing now in the next clip is I'm just going to be mining lots of sand up for that and I'm going to start it a little bit and then I'll hook you back in when, or hook you back in. I'll get you back in when I have did progress and you can see what I'm going for, you know. So, yeah, I'll see you in the next clip. Okay, so our update, you can already see down here that there is a lot of Stuff. We actually get conduit power from under here, so realistically, if we wanted to, we could just have it so that we just use the conduit power and we swim through, but I don't know how I feel about that. I think I want to have it so it is a railway track so you can like look at it underwater and stuff like that, but then again, you can do that while swimming through it, you know what I mean? But yeah, I need to just break off a little bit here. And then we'll be done the actual path, like you can see down here, and then over here, it just leads to where the ground floor is going to be in our town city base thing. But obviously, the ground needs to be covered in sand and stuff like that. Which we will do at some point. So yeah, I'm going to keep messing with this a little bit. And then I will come back once I've got some more progress to show you. Okay, we have finally finished it. It's taken me a few days. Only because I have been very busy over the past couple of days. But I have hollowed it all out and I've filled it up with glass. And rather than walking through and showing you, I figure, why don't I just ride through and show you? So here we go. And you get to see all outside. This will all be filled up one day with a bunch of fun little things. And it's just a little way to be able to get you into the main part of my underwater area. So this will have a door here, obviously, and then I've got to get rid of these little cobblestone things. Oh, that, those have all got to be replaced with glass, which means it's going to spring a leak in here, but I'll do that all off camera. 
Um, oh. Can we not get up? Shit. <laughs> um, oh, great. You know what? You might just have to get up on your own. <laughs> but, um, yeah. Thank you so much for watching today's episode of River Valley. Um, next week we'll do something I think that's not going to be a part of the base. Just because I don't want to wear myself out by constantly doing base work. And, yeah. We'll just see what happens, I guess. Thank you so much for watching, guys. And I'll see you in the next episode. Bye, guys.